mini USB fan. This fan is really small. It's only around three and a half inches in diameter. You can see it's a lot more than my hand. This fan I'd say is pretty much unbranded. Here. You can see. But I don't know don't know I don't know the manufacturer. Or like whoever made it. So this little unit is actually a gift from our friend. Who knows I like fans. So yeah. Here's the little packet that came in. Graphic. Is that a part? Did it realize that? Could be. But apparently there, there might be a missing piece of this unit actually. There might be something that plugs into here. So now you have maybe a card or plug it into a an actual computer USB socket. But this fan is different. This fan instead plugs into a phone charger plug. It's in the plug where you can plug in the charger for your phone. Which I will show you. Here we've got a little tablet we're gonna plug it in. This is an iPad. As you can see. It's one of the newer ones. Which have the little plug on the end. The small plug on the end. The, the older ones have... The older ones have this kind of... have a, 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 sorry, a socket where you can plug this kind of charger into. But ever since then they've redesigned and they've and they and they've made it smaller. So I'm so it, that brings me to, to the conclusion that this might be a newer product. So this which wasn't available back before the new Apple charger was or charger came out. So yeah. Still can't find a brand for it. It's pretty much generic, I'd say. But anyways, I'll, get, I'll give you a demo. There it goes. For some reason, this fan goes slightly slower after like a minute or two of running. I am assuming that this has to do with the iPad detecting that there's something drawing power from the device's battery, so it tries to <laughs> limit that. That's what I'm assuming anyway. Take it off. Anyways, another thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do an afro test in this little unit. This is not my wallpaper by the way, this is my younger brother's, he plays Minecraft. But, whatever. So, first of all I'm gonna turn off the air conditioner to get the exact better gauge of what this fan sounds like and the and kind of and also gives me a better gauge of what kind of airflow it puts out. So, here we go. Let 
That is not my wallpaper once again. It's from my younger brother just took a snapshot of some kind of game or whatever. But this is not what this is not what this video is about. This video is about the fan, not my wallpapers and the iPad or whatnot. And me letting him do whatever with my wallpapers. But anyways, let's check this out. Silent. It's silent in terms of blade noise, but it makes this high pitched sound which is visible on the microphone, which makes it unsuitable to be plugged into the same phone that's videoing something or making a video something. <laughs> you guys should have seen my, uh, my sound test video of me plugging this fan into my phone and taking a video to see what kind of sound I get, if it's too prominent. And it wasn't prominent, so I'm not, I'm probably not gonna be using this fan for when I'm making videos. So yeah. Because it's got that brushed motor apparently, it's not brushless. The brushless ones, I'm assuming that can be quieter. Please tell me if I'm wrong. That blade out is pretty relaxing. I'm doing that right now. Sounds like an industrial fan in the distance, almost. I'm gonna put this trying to give you guys a bit just so airflow gets here without being blocked by the tripod. Airflow is decent, I'd say. It's still not as much as one of these, but this guy, even on low, seems to move more air than this. But yeah, this has got a tiny motor that's meant for electronic devices, so I'm assuming you don't want to drain your battery quickly, so you don't really want the powerful fan plugged into your device. For the sake of your battery life. It's still quiet, I can hear my ears ringing, actually. That's how quiet it is right now, in this room. But anyways... Another thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this unit apart, which is not something you want to do too often. I, I'm only really gonna do this for videos, and if I need to maintain it for whatever reason. If I ever need to do maintenance work on it for whatever reason. Anyways, just a little extra information on this, because they forgot to put in earlier. This fan is made out of pretty much entirely rubber. The blades are also hard rubber. They're not foam. And that way they can be curved, and thus be more aerodynamic from what I know. Because apparently they have, the, they have these blades curved like this for a reason. So yeah. This fan holds together using friction. There are no screws or anything like that. I mean these two parts, this and the little cover for the motor. But thankfully it's vent holes. Many of these fans, the manufacturers don't even care about the vent holes for the little motors inside them. <laughs> These motors, by the way, are probably not from the same manufacturer. They probably, they probably bought them from another company because these motors are pretty common mo motors. Since these don't use screws, they use friction. I'd recommend against taking this apart regularly because then it'll, it'll wear out and it'll become, 
and these bars will become more and more slippery from what I think. But then again, these are rubber. From my experience with plastic blades and stuff like that, they get more and more slippery and they'd be less likely to stay on the motor. But when they're rubber, I'm not sure, but I still advise against it, unless they've been doing it forever and it's and nothing's really been and you haven't worn out the unit. Anyways. There's the inside, there's the motor and whatnot. As you can see, something's slowed it down. iPad's probably detected that there's something draining the battery. Last thing I'm gonna do, but since anyway, many people like doing these inflatable fans, is to do a startup sound from the rear. That concludes the video of this mini USB fan that, that plugs into phones and tablets. Thanks for watching. And if you, if you enjoy my videos, feel free to subscribe.